All right, folks, so you might be asking, what can I do to make my unit better insulated? Well, I'm gonna give you a few things here that's gonna help you out. Um, number one, most important, especially in the wintertime, is skirt your unit. Just like bridges, don't let the airflow get underneath. Um, another thing you can do, block foam insulate your windows from the inside. Put weather stripping on the outside of the styrofoam, adhere it from uh, the inside against the window, and you're gonna help that out dramatically. Even if you have dual pane windows, it's gonna help out a ton, because a dual pane's only gonna have about an R2, which is nothing. Your single panes are gonna have R1, and of course, if you're in a motorhome, you got that big old windshield, make sure you put curtains on it or something. Um, also, what you can do is stuff batten insulation in your vents up top, um, especially your skylights, any type of opening vent up top you can put them in, and even your air conditioning holes if uh, it's winter time. One thing I do want to make sure of with y'all is check out your condensation, running your heat like this, blocking things up. It might get a little wet in there. You may need a dehumidifier or open up a vent occasionally, and especially if you're cooking the propane, you want your uh, your LP detector and your carbon monoxide detectors working. And if you're you know cooking with stove or or the range, make sure that you're opening one of those vents for uh, that excess gas to be let out. Put rugs on non-carpeted areas. You lose a lot of heat in the uh, just the vinyl flooring nowadays or the tile flooring carpet's not that popular. But if you're going to be extended living in them for a while in the winter time, make sure you put rugs down there. Um, here's a big one: only leave pertinent slide outs open on cold days. The slide outs are not insulated nearly to the extreme as the rest of the RV. If it's really cold, bring as many of those in as you can. Um, insulate your baggage doors. Put more block foam insulation on the inside of those things. They're usually weak points and air gets in on, through them to your underbelly and makes your furnace work a little bit harder. Also, your front door, you may not realize it, your main door might not be insulated at all. I would check that out. And if it's not, I would try to figure out a way to maybe put up a blanket on it somehow or put some block foam insulation to the inside of it. So those are some things that are going to help you all insulate your RVs a little better for the winter time. And of course, check out the campground. Some other people have some excellent ideas I haven't even thought of, you know, especially if you're up north, Minnesota, Canada, and those areas. Those people probably have some excellent ways to make sure their units don't freeze up. But if you got any questions, please give me a call, 317-898-6676, and I'll be happy to answer any of your questions.